In this tutorial, I'm going to de demonstrate how to alternate colours in Magic Music Visuals. So let's start with a square. And we'll just reduce its size down a bit. That should do. In order to have a number of squares on which to alternate the colours, I'm going to use an iterator. Oops. And we'll start with 7. Now currently all the squares are on top of each other, so we'll need a translate to move them, based upon the internal iteration number. So you can see we've got two here, that's because the others are going off the screen. So I'm just going to scale this down so they all come closer together. You can see them coming back on and just to move them into the centre of the screen I'm just going to offset their position altogether. Okay. So now we've got seven squares, we're ready to alternate some colours. Easiest way to do that is with a hue saturation. So let's bring one of those in. And in a similar way to the way we did the tran translation, we'll do a hue with internals iteration number. And at the moment, they are going from 0 to 6. We want them to go from 0 to 1. So the easiest way to do that is with an expression. And we'll just divide that by 7. And you can see they're going across the spectrum now. Um, but we want them to alternate. So what I'm going to do is add in a wrap modifier and move it up. So it's modding the iterator number. Uh, with the wrap of 1, you can see all the colors are the same. If we change the wrap to 2, they start to alternate. And if we change it to 3, they alternate every third one. But let's stick with 2 for now. Um, if we change this number, it will change how far apart the colours are. So if we push that up to 10, they'll become closer together. And if we reduce it down to, let's say, 5, oops, they'll go further apart. And then if you want to shift, you can, like the translate, you can use an offset and you can move through the colours. And that's how to alternate colors in magic. Thanks for watching.